This is Gina. She's just found out that all of the IV pumps in the hospital are in use. She's been asked to calculate the IV drip rate for the medication she is about to hang. Gina has not calculated an IV drip rate since nursing school, and she needs some help, so she calls Maggie, her unit NPD practitioner. Maggie says no problem and starts to prepare a short presentation on how to calculate IV drip rates that she will give during an emergency huddle. To calculate the flow rate, you must first know if you're using microdrip or macrodrip IV tubing. Macrodrip tubing delivers 10 to 20 drops per milliliter, while microdrip delivers 60 drops per milliliter. Macrodrip tubing is used for large volumes of fluid or rapid infusions, and microdrip tubing is used for pediatric patients or drips that need to be more strictly controlled. You will also need to know the drop factor. That's the number of drops in one milliliter of solution, which is located on the IV tubing package. First, you'll need to know the milliliters per hour to infuse. Next, you'll need to calculate how many minutes are in the total hours to infuse by multiplying the number of hours times 60 minutes. Then, divide the total volume to be infused by the total time in minutes to get milliliters per minute. Finally, multiply the milliliters per minute by the drip factor to get the drops per minute. Let me give you an example. Let's say a provider has ordered one liter of normal saline to be infused over six hours, and you have macrodrip IV tubing that is 15 drops per milliliter. First, you'll wanna take the six hours to infuse and multiply that by 60 minutes to get 360 minutes of total infusion time. Next, you'll divide 1,000 milliliters by 360 minutes to get a total of 2.7 milliliters per minute. Then multiply 2.7 milliliters per minute by the drop factor of 15 drops per milliliter, which is 41.6 drops per minute, which you will then round up to 42 drops per minute. The same calculation is used for microdrip tubing. Since microdrip tubing is 60 drops per milliliter, it is the same as the milliliters per hour. So if you're infusing 60 milliliters per hour, the micro drip rate will equal 60 drops per minute. You should also ask a colleague or pharmacist to check your calculation. 